Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast today. I'm in Genesis chapter 9 as I continue my study into Genesis. In this chapter, we find Noah and his family out of the ark. And in Genesis 9 and 1, God pronounced a blessing upon Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply upon the earth, according to the Amplified Bible. And he also told them that all the animals, the fish, and every living thing would be subject unto him. And uh, that, that means in Genesis 3 and 1, that every living thing that lives shall be food for you. And I give you the green vegetables and the plants, and I give you everything. There was only one restriction, and that was not to eat the blood of the animals. And God said, if you kill one another or another person, the price would be your blood. So God put a premium on the fact that you cannot kill anyone. Strangle blood is mentioned in the New Testament, too, not to eat in Corinthians. Uh, and God uh, placed a limit on those that we should eat food, all, all the food we want, but not, not blood. In Genesis 9 and 9, God said, And behold, I establish my covenant with you and your descendants, and after you. And God went on to say he would never destroy the earth with a flood again. God put a rainbow in the cloud as a covenant that he would keep his promise. And so every time you look out and see a rainbow in the sky or in the clouds, you can remember that God promised that he would never destroy this earth again or the animals uh, with water again. And you can find that in verses 13 and 14. Uh, and Genesis 9 and 18 says, And the sons of Noah who went forth out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Jephthah. And Ham was a father of Canaan, born later in the Amplified Bible, and the whole earth was filled with inhabitants. And Genesis 9 and 20 said, And Noah began to cultivate the ground, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank the wine, and he became drunk. And uh, that that's, could be a good indication that he, uh, he was uncovered and he was naked in his tent, and the scripture tells us that when we drink too much alcohol, and we do things that we would not normally do. And folks, I want to tell you, that should be a lesson to us. You know, we've got a lot of DWIs and things like this, and people go to jail. People are killed on the highways every day because they have drank excess alcohol, and you should never drive and drink, and that should be a lesson to us. Uh, and uh, in verse 22, and Ham went in one of his sons and saw his nakedness and told his two brothers. And Sham and Jetha took a garment and covered him up, and they, they covered him uh, going backwards so they would not see his nakedness. And Noah awoke from his, from his wine and knew what his sons had done, and he cursed Canaan, one of Ham's descendants. And the reason he was cursed is because Ham laughed and ridiculed his father and because of uh, he saw his nakedness and made fun of him and that did not really set too well with uh, with Noah that was I'm sure that was a lesson unto him not to drink uh, too much wine anymore and uh, you know that it's, uh, it's sad that uh, the descendants of Ham Cam was cursed with a curse uh, he blessed Jephtha and he blessed Shem, but he cursed uh, uh, he cursed Ham's descendants because of this ridicule he made from him. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and Noah lived to be 950 years old, and he died. And I want to tell you the great life of Noah comes to a close, and remember he obeyed God in building an ark. He obeyed God and everything that God told him to do. Uh, this one last part chapter where he drank too much wine was kind of a, a sad part of his life, but he lived to be 950 years old. Uh, and the Bible does tell us that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Uh, thank you for listening to this program today. I appreciate it so much. And may God bless you.